is that after studying medical lab you won't find it easy to get a job because not all hospitals have a medical Chaiko, my Jesus, it's not Chico, it's Chaiko, C H Y C O O, Chaiko, Chaiko, my Jesus. Hey, hey, today I'm going to tell you guys that the profession I chose, it is my mommy's idea for me to study medical lab science. Actually, I I love nursing, but. When I was growing up, I didn't know the meaning of nursing, even this medical lab, I didn't know it. That's why it is very, very important as a mom, start early to tell your children about careers, about things of this life, so that when they grow up, it will, they will find it very, very easy to, you know, choose a career, okay? So after secondary school, you know you need to choose either to go for skill, learning of skill, or furthering your education. So, so guys, when I finished my secondary school, I don't know. One day my mom just came home and told me to prepare that we are going to get a form for exam. So I prepared for exam within hours. It's not up to one day. I went for exam and I passed. I went for interview. I passed as well. I entered into medical lab science school. I studied medical lab assistant. But the truth is that I don't even know what they are talking about. <laughs> It is so interesting, right? So, sorry for the noise, sorry for the interruption. Okay, so I have to go in for it. You know, when you um, enter into a higher institution, um, you will not be it's just like you just be like a JJC, you won't know anything. So, you have to learn about your lecturer's character, you know, have to meet new friends and all that. Do you know, guys? <laughs> you as a medical lab you have to know your chemistry very well you have to know your physics you know you have to know your biology you have to know your english yes you have to know your mathematics so as i enter school i thank god that i calmed down i cooled down i didn't even do as if to say it wasn't my idea to study a medical lab i you know i tried i did all my best and i came out among the best students but guys i when i was you know with other people nurses and all that because in my school in school of health technology we study medical lab we study nursing we study environmental health officers and pharmacy and all that so i noticed that i started having passion to become a nurse and even up to today i wish i had studied nursing instead of medical lab you know why after my uh, school i have to get a job in two months time but the truth is that many medical many hospitals don't have medical lab in their hospitals so to get a job it won't be easy for you as a medical lab i'm sorry to say this but if it is your passion to study a medical lab you can go ahead i'm just talking about my own experience and what i need in my life okay so to get a job it's not all the hospitals that have a medical lab in their office in their hospitals okay and see guys before you go in for this course you have to prepare yourself because you are dealing with human being human life you won't make mistake because if you didn't concentrate if you didn't study this particular subject very well you can kill somebody okay you can you know you can you know detect a wrong you can in fact you have to be careful on the patient sample you have to be careful if you collect a sample you have to name it according immediately don't allow don't just say ah because patients are much you have to you know attend you don't have to you know combine the, the samples after you start naming them no they will teach you all these things while studying when you collect somebody's sample you need to name it that is write the name write the you know what you want to do with the sample whether it's a uh, if, if it is blood sample you specify if you want to do malaria test or wider test we call wider test typhoid test but you know medical terms is wider test or hiv have to you know 
write down what you want to use the sample to do so to avoid the mistake you have to be very sharp and you have to you know be very very careful as a medical lab practitioner <laughs> you have to be very careful though. so as i was saying number one getting a job in this nigeria is very very difficult as a medical lab because hospitals don't have some many hospitals in nigeria don't have medical lab laboratory in their hospitals and number two is that we don't go for break we don't go for break like you'll be working 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 from monday to sunday you don't go for break unless you are lucky to work in a hospital that have an understanding doctor or maybe there are two or three scientists there that is when you can be able to you know you know you you, you guys will you know sh arrange and you know be giving yourself time but as a nurse you have break as in you work for nights you will have a break and a time for your family um also 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 nurses eh, they recognize them they regard them in fact they take them as in short i don't know they have respect they give them respect but as a medical lab they don't give us respect <laughs> i'm sorry to say this <laughs> they don't give us respect if you come if you say you're a medical lab scientist they will not even regard you as anything because people don't value it but if you say i'm a nurse <laughs> they're gonna come up for you <laughs> that is the number one thing I, I, I wanted to that is i regret studying medical life so that respect that they are giving nurses i love it you know when you got married uh, if your husband you know if you're a nurse your children will be fearing you because you'll be using needle to be threatening them but if you're a medical lab it's just the only that sample that you'll be collecting they will not be fearing you that much but if you are giving injection if you are giving your children injection and use that injection to be threatening them if your husband will be giving you a high accolade in fact be giving you a higher respect <laughs> okay guys that is it now i have passion for in fact right from the time i was studying when i noticed the things about nurses they care for people they you know save people's life more than medical lab scientists because if somebody is dying okay you won't eat. as a nurse you first give first aid you first give first aid to save the person's life before going for medical lab okay you can't tell me that when somebody is dying you will be collecting samples to go and do laboratory tests tests before attending to the patient you have to save the person's life right before you can start giving treatment that is why i like i love nursing okay number one as a medical lab you find it difficult to get work and their payment is very very slow number two you don't go for break for nurses they they give them leave number three the respect they give to nurses is different from the respect they give to laboratory scientists number four number five is that when your family is sick as a medical lab you will start collecting samples to go and check before in fact after checking what is the next thing you won't be able to treat that person because you don't have the idea of the drugs that you're going to buy but as a nurse you will you know you, have, you know the drugs you can even treat off head without going to, to for testing for test okay so that is it I didn't regret it much because um because 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 what would I say? But the truth is that I love nursing. So if you are somebody that has been studying nurses, just keep it up and, and continue studying it. If you have chosen medical laboratory already, don't worry, don't worry, everything is still normal. You can still go to nursing schools after studying your medical lab and combine it together. Then when you are, after your studies, you can open a, a, a shop and be doing lab together with nursing, together with treatment. It's very important. You are doing lab, you are treating people it will give you more money it will, it will you know you will save more life okay so it is never too late as a nurse you have to be you have to concentrate on your nursing studies and keep it up keep on studying because your 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 your, your, your you are here to save life you have here to save someone so as a medical lab you have to you know be careful you have to 
be accurate in your checking in your microscopy you have to be so so accurate in many things in detecting the particular sickness in detecting the particular organism detecting the particular thing that is wrong with the patient at that time because if you do any mistake you terminate the person's life because you are the mouthpiece of the doctors whatever you detect for doctor that is what they will use and treat that particular patient so you have to be very very careful on when you are carrying out your 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 test you have to be very very careful you have to name your samples you have to you know label it very very correctly in order to avoid mistake thank you guys for watching in my next video i will share with you how what and what and what you needed in order to study as a medical lab and if you don't as in if it's not your choice if it is someone that is choosing it for you make sure you you know you start now to plan for your future because it's not easy to become a medical lab you won't find job easily you won't find job easily that's the truth here in nigeria you won't find job easily you won't find work so soon unless it's by god grace or unless you have connection but nurses every day you see vacancy of nurses everywhere it's not like that for medical lab so choose your profession rightly choose your profession correctly and remain blessed as you watch this video don't forget to subscribe i hope you enjoyed this video today i hope you enjoyed the information i am passing through to you right now so for you to get more videos you you click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell love you guys bye